Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about logical empiricism. Logical empiricism was earlier called as logical positivism and both these terms together are called as neo-positivism. The main idea of this movement is based on verification principle also called as verificationism. This movement started in the late 1920s by a group of philosophers, scientists and mathematicians. When psychology as a science emerged, it gave importance to strict experimental method or logical empiricism. This led to a crisis in psychology. For a logical empiricist, the view of metaphysical, theological and ethical statements are not cognitively meaningful. Empiricism believes that all kinds of knowledge related to existence can be derived only from experience. By the late 1960s, logical positivism had become exhausted. In the late 1970s, A. J. Ayer said that the most important defect was that nearly all of it was false. Karl Hempfel was an important person in establishing logical empiricism. Other some important figures of this movement are Thomas Kuhn and Karl Popper. John Pashmore found logical positivism to be dead or as dead as a philosophical movement ever becomes. Logical empiricism attracted people who don't worry about what they cannot observe. It was ultimately a theory about meaning and about the content of theory. It has a great impact on the field of psychology in which the study of subjective feelings, thoughts and intentions make the major part of its studies. And hence, the ideas of logical empiricism has created a sense of crisis in this field. In the next video, let's talk about Indic influences on modern psychology. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.